Ali, and welcome or welcome back to my channel, Mindful Living. If you're interested in unique recipe ideas, gardening, and finding joy in the ordinary like me, be sure to subscribe to my channel as I upload new videos every week. Okay, let's get started with today's video. So you spend all early spring planning out your garden, getting it ready, and getting everything you need. You finally transfer your plants outside, and long story short, some pests destroy your garden. I know that it's super frustrating, and trust me, it's happening to me right now. Like I said in my other videos, I've grown in containers for a few years now, but this is the first year that I've actually had some squirrels and birds in my garden. So I've had to go to some pretty extreme measures Measures to protect my plants. In this video, I'm going to quickly give you guys an overview of what you can do to keep birds and squirrels out of your garden. Okay, so I think one important thing I'm going to mention here is, although it's super frustrating and annoying, we have to understand why squirrels and birds dig up our garden first of all. So, squirrels are typically looking for somewhere to actually bury their food, so their nuts or seeds or whatever they have, and unfortunately, flower pots are a really ideal place for them to do this. They also just like to dig and sometimes it's what's in your soil that is attracting them so whether it be the fungus or the mixture that you have in there is actually quite appealing to them in how it smells. As for birds, of course they love hanging around the garden and they love to dig up soil because they're looking for worms or something in the soil to eat. They don't understand that potting soil won't have worms like a garden will so sometimes they are a little confused and that's also why they're digging up your containers. Okay, so the first thing you can do to stop squirrels primarily is by sprinkling cayenne pepper around. I just picked this one up at the dollar store and I've been sprinkling it on the ledge of my balcony. I am on the top floor, so typically the squirrels will come onto the roof or climb on the sides of my balcony railing to get onto my balcony. So that is where I've been sprinkling my cayenne. Wherever you're having your squirrels enter your garden or your outdoor space, sprinkle cayenne there. They really don't like the smell of cayenne pepper and when they get a whiff of this when they're trying to enter their garden, it will definitely kind of repel them. Okay, so the next thing you can do if that's not working completely for you is you can actually use peppermint essential oil. Squirrels really don't like the strong scent of peppermint either. You can either soak cotton balls in peppermint oil and place them around the garden on jar lids like I'm doing here. I'm just using an elastic to secure my cotton ball to the jar lid. And just place those around in between your planters. You can use as many as you want. If you don't have peppermint essential oil, you can also use a live peppermint plant. So just plant a few of those around your garden in pots as well. And that will also repel the squirrels. Another thing I'm doing here is I'm just making a mixture in a spray bottle. I've used some vinegar and peppermint oil, and I'm actually going to spray the areas that the squirrels enter my garden. Like I've said, they come on the roof and they tend to crawl down my balcony ledge, so I'm just going to go ahead and spray all of that with the peppermint oil mixture. Okay, so my next tip for you guys is a pretty obvious one. It's to set up a predator in your garden. So I've purchased this owl sculpture here. I purchased this at Canadian Tire. They're also available on Amazon. And I've been moving this around my garden. So one trick you need to keep in mind is if you put the sculpture in one spot, eventually the squirrels or birds will get used to that and they'll know that that's not a real owl. So every day I do move this into a different location on my balcony. I always try to make it visible so they can see it from wherever they're entering the garden. And yeah, the biggest tip is to make sure that you keep moving it. Never let your pests get used to where your owl is. Okay, the next tip is using toothpicks or wooden skewers like I'm using here around your plants. So this is pretty extreme, but I am going to be going away camping and I need to make sure that my plants are protected. So you want to make sure to place these around the edge of the container. You don't want to push them in too deep because then they will be ruining the roots of your plant. And another thing to keep in mind is to have a two finger spacing between. Squirrels can fit through some pretty small spaces, so you want them close together so they cannot get access to your plant. 
Of course, this only works when the plant is younger. Once these start growing pretty big, I'm not going to be able to keep these in. Okay, my next tip is going to be to install some spinners in your garden. So spinners are kind of like a pinwheel device that will stick into any of your planters and this will actually work to scare away birds because of the reflective glare that it gives off when the sun hits it. This really scares the birds and also the movement of the pinwheel can also startle them. So it's an easy way and it's very pretty way to kind of keep them out of your garden. Here I have two spinners hanging above my plants and I also have this pinwheel that I'm showing you here that I'm sticking into my pepper plant. And my last tip here, which I think might be the one that is working the very best for me, but my dog does not enjoy it quite as much, is putting chewed or used dog bones outside. So obviously, squirrels, birds, they don't like the smell of humans or dogs. I like to use a chewed up bone from Ginger, my dog, and I place them around the garden because it kind of gives off her smell. It kind of gives them the impression that she's there or she has been there or she's going to be there quite soon and it kind of freaks them out to have that smell when they're trying to dig up your garden. Of course my dog has been coming out every morning seeing her chewed bones there and taking them back inside but that's fine I just put them back out again at nighttime and all is good. I hope if you guys enjoyed this video and enjoyed the tips I had today you'll give me a like, leave me a comment below, let me know what is going on in your garden and what pests are bothering you this year. And stay tuned for the next thing that I'm planting in my garden. I do have a few more videos to share with you guys from my small space garden. Thanks for watching!